Why do religious people hate atheists so much? Is it because we're a threat to the agendas of the religious leaders of the world? Does our rational, logically based lack of belief in God inherently make us evil? Why are atheists considered the least trusted minority in America? Merriam-Webster defines moral as of or relating to the principles of right and wrong in behavior. So what's missing there? If you said any reference to a higher power, you are correct. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Morality is mutually exclusive to God by definition. So who or what determines what is right and wrong? What is right and wrong? Let's see if we can simplify the answer to these questions. If I have two magnets and I have the two positive ends pointing towards each other, what will their behavior be if I move the magnets towards each other? One will push the other one away, correct? If you said the opposite and that they will attract, by definition, that makes you immoral. You fail to relate the correct right and wrong behavior of these magnets. So it sounds stupid, right? You lack morals because you fucked up the outcome of the magnet example. Furthermore, it apparently makes you moral for getting the right answer. Let's investigate this example further. If we rerun this experiment, but this time taking into account a belief in God, what will happen? One believer says the magnets will attract. Another believer says they will repel. Does this change the outcome? No. Will a belief in God change the outcome? No. So a belief in God doesn't change the physical outcome. Does the belief in God make the person who is wrong correct? No, it still doesn't. That means that a belief in God does not predispose a person to be correct when it involves a predetermined outcome. How about another example? If I have all the people in the world move to the left of the planet based on whether they believe a coin is going to land on heads, and other people who think that the coin is going to land on tails move to the right of the planet, and then flip the coin, will this dictate the outcome of the coin? No. If I run the same experiment and have them split into two different groups where non-believers in God move to the northern hemisphere and people who believe in God move to the southern hemisphere and then left if they believe that the coin will land on heads and right if they believe that it will land on tails, will this change the outcome? No. So this shows that a belief in God cannot change or alter the outcomes of random events, such as this coin example, or the outcomes of a predictable event, such as my magnet example. We cannot use just these two examples as a model for morality. So let's use the biggest wrong a person can commit. How about ending the life of a breathing and cognitive harmless human being? Does this person deserve to die? If everyone around you says they do, and you say they don't, does that make you a moral person? Does it make everyone else moral? So looking at this example, would a belief in God change your mind about killing? Would no belief in God change your mind about killing? If you said yes to either question, then this video probably isn't for you. If you believe or don't believe in God, and this is the only thing preventing you from committing murder, or God tells you to kill people, you're wasting your time watching this video. Notice how I make no judgment about a murderer's overall morality, because that would be hypocritical. But you could guess what my response would be to someone who commits murder. To continue this topic, a belief in God has to be mutually exclusive to determining rights and wrongs in behavior. If it wasn't mutually exclusive, believers could will the outcome of a coin flip, influence the polarity of magnets, and would or wouldn't kill simply because they believe in God. This goes for non-believers as well. So when theists say atheists are immoral when it comes to the physical universe, you know, the universe that we live in and interact with on a daily basis, they are really in no position to be making comments on the subject. No one is in fact. Atheists aren't either. Simply because you believe in God does not make you moral.